Professor Zicholi, I hope you do not mind if I demonstrate uh, your slides announcing the European Society so uh, that the uh, participants um, have the uh, a better understanding of what the European Society is doing, how they sp- cooperate with different specialists in the field. We're very happy that uh, today we're supported by the European Society. There is a wonderful site that is um, accessible to all the members. Uh, There is the content which can be used without any subscription. It's uh, free content and you can also get acquainted with it, that ESGO Academy. Uh, there are tr- uh, educational uh, films uh, which are, and videos which are most useful for the oncogynecologists. And uh, we can also visualize here uh, the International um, uh, Journal. If you're a member of the European Society of Oncogynecologists, uh, this option is open for you. Then there are other options open as well. Um, the uh, present-day materials uh, covering uh, uh, oncology and uh, uh, gynecology. Now, allow me to uh, start my presentation. Could we have it on? And uh, I will speak about our cooperation with the Russian Society of Oncogynecologists. And uh, this society includes uh, professionals um, uh, from all over the Russian Federation. Uh, Our country, as you know, is big enough and uh, um, uh, uh, within the society we are bringing together oncogynecologists uh, from all over the country. As you can see, our population is 144 million uh, annually. There are about uh, 54,000 gynecological um, Uh, uh, cases, uh, there are about 100 gynecological centers and about 500 oncogynecologists take part, active part in the work of our society, which was founded in the 1990s in the Soviet Union. It was uh, um, and, uh, on the platform uh, on the territory of Georgia. It was founded. Uh, that's where the society was established. And the first president uh, was Jan uh, Bohman. Uh, starting with 1993, and since 1993, it has been a Russian society. Jan Bochman is very well known as a society of two pathogynecological um, endometrium uh, cancers, which are well known in history. And um, uh, starting with 1993, he is the president of the Russian Society of Gynecologists. And now, after the disintegration of the Soviet Union, Uh, Still, the Russian Society of Oncogynecologists retained its contacts with the countries, with the um, um, countries of the former Soviet Union. Um, We meet annually. We uh, organize workshops together. Uh, We cooperate with the European Society of Oncogynecologists uh, in the year 2009. We had the first joint session in St. Petersburg, and these are being continued annually in Pskov, Sochi, Orenburg, uh, Tomsk, Novosibirsk, and uh, um, there is always a lot of participants. The topics selected are most important, and uh, there is always a lively discussion as well. And back to the lively discussion. I must say that we had a wonderful uh, master class of life surgery where it uh, uh, demonstrated laparoscopic access in oncogynecologists, and there were wonderful re- Um, uh, presentations from our colleagues from Armenia and uh, Georgia, um, Stepanian and Goria, they uh, represent, who represent Eastern Europe um, in the Council. Mm, the time was limited. There was no proper discussion, but our colleagues uh, shared their email addresses with you so that you have a chance to ask them questions. Uh, No, we have uh, close cooperation with the young oncogynecologists uh, with the help of ESGO. We are promoting this idea, and um, there are educational uh, courses uh, provided for the young um, professionals um, at the Petrov Institute. Uh, The Russian society cooperates uh, uh, with the coordination uh, uh, committee of the European 
a society, and uh, for the first time in St. Petersburg, the first and the only center was accredited by the European Society um, exists. Uh, this happened when did that this happened last year. They, they were accredited last year. Here is the certificate of accreditation, and we are most proud of this achievement. Now, we are trying to overcome uh, the language barrier. The Russian-speaking audience <clears throat> um, uh, wants to be a part of the European society, and so we are translating all the guidelines uh, um, from English into Russian, and on the ESGO site you can find them. Now, if you are not members of the society yet, join us. Most welcome, and thank you for your attention.